been frustrating for Birmingham. Early on, but they don't have to go at it at the bottom of the game. The last thing they want to do is concede in this first half. It really would be a tall order for them then. As long as he's got a clean sheet, he's always in this game. And before Alex McLeish's reign, Birmingham had to turn around a first leg deficit in a semi-final ten years ago and did so. They were losing from the match at Ipswich, but beat them comprehensively here. Council of Paul Groves being given to Avram Grant. Here's Ferguson. Now Carr. Barry Ferguson. Here's Ridgewell. Gardner looking for Jerome. Right the way through to Green. Just in the build up to that attack, trying to commit more midfielders forward. Well, you made a run, Gardner's made them before now. Just to try and get that West Ham back for thinking. They've been fairly comfortable so far. Tompkins. Hines looking for the flick on, can Cole barge his way through. And Cole has turned away from Yurinak and fires it across, and Ridgewell has to turn it behind. No, he just bullied Yurinak here, Cotton Cole backing him, turning him fairly easily. I think he's on site. He gets his cross in far too easily as well. Get the ball to Cotton Cole, every opportunity should be the message. West Ham turning up the heat. Matthew Upson has come forward for Parker's kick, which goes short to Noble. Here's Bridge. Tompkins challenging for it. Starbuck who got it away though for Birmingham. I wondered about their attitude. West Ham's been two on up, but uh, it's been a positive one. No suggestion, they're just trying to sit on this lead, is there? They will need the uh, cushion of another goal, and Hines here has got his way through, and Bonamorto uh, reacted a little belatedly, called it really reacted all. No, they're not at it defensively at all, Zavon Hines wriggling through there. Far too easily. Fall back. Spectre. Yeah, it has looked lively. In his first half, Zavon Hines. A little bit of luck, maybe, in the miscontrol. That's when you want somebody getting across the near post. Give him a target. Hines. Given away to Lewis Belmorte. Belmorte's shot is blocked. Boyer glad to clear the lines for Birmingham. We're under a bit of siege at the moment. Yeah, they were all over the place, really, and it's a period that he will be extremely wor worried about. Also, a period where West Ham will feel they should score, they've got to score when they're on top, make it count. Here's Faubert. Beyond call this time. No expected changes in that Birmingham back line after the defeat at Manchester United at the weekend, but so far the change seems to have unsettled them more than anything. I've been playing recently with Ridgewell in the centre and Murphy instead at left back, but he's on the bench today, Murphy. Uh, Ewan actually started on the left of the two. 
But he's switched with Roger Johnson now. Definitely a bit of uncertainty down now. Upson. And again, they're looking for an offside flag, and nothing comes. Bolmorte kept it in, and it was only Carr getting back. But save the day. Well, again, Martin Ewanek just stopped. I mean, he can see Bolmorte's not offside because he was right next to him. Poor control in the end. Really should have done a bit better than that, Bolmorte. Well, Birmingham have been very sluggish at the back so far. Can West Ham make it count? Parker's corner, glanced away by Roger Johnson. Jerome now with a bit of space to operate in. He didn't have a lot on there, did he? Uh, Gardner had made a forward run, which was really hard to pick out, but West Ham been a little bit more aggressive than Birmingham. They had a possession closing down, making life difficult. Here's Spectre. Parker. It's Fobert's cross. Yurinek away. Bridge. Bill Morte. Challenged by Gardner, but they give it away cheaply again. Spectre helps it through. Parker. Here's Heinz trying to bring it under control. Parker again. It's Bridge out wide with the cross, Spectre arriving. Bowyer can't get it away, it's come all the way back to Cole. Parker, Spectre. Juranek with a header. And the anxiety for Birmingham is just being heaped on here. Yeah, some real panic in the ranks, isn't it? They're being hammered into making mistakes. Really do look a nervous outfit at the moment when they're asked to defend Birmingham. Oh, he is wondering what is going on, Alex McLeish. Oh, well on top, West Ham, but these are the periods where you hope to get a goal to make that possession count. No point otherwise. Here's Cole. Put in a full circle to turn. Johnson gets it away. Carr. Tompkins with a header. Larson. Trying to make life uncomfortable for him. Here's Johnson. Ridgewell. Cut out by Parker. And Birmingham's passing's been really poor. This first half they have been harried. They've had no time in possession, but the options as well for the player on the ball have been limited. West Ham have been a real Jekyll and Hyde team this season. They've saved their best performances for the Carling Cup, notably the uh, quarter-final when they demolished the reigning champions, Manchester United. But Birmingham have uh, stumbled their way through to a degree anyway against lower league opposition. They played every match in the competition at home up until the first leg of this tie. But against the likes of uh, Rochdale and Brentford, whom they only beat on penalties, they did falter. Noble. Richwell gets the throw, playing it against Jonathan Spector. Spector who got two goals.